which you will have an experience which will seem completely real. It will be the result of your subconscious fears transformed to your conscious awareness. Warning, this tape must not be played. It can be extremely harmful and result in severe trauma. You have five seconds to terminate this tape. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> hey everybody, it's me, Aries Double Eighty Three, uh, with a lackluster um, live stream for you guys right now. As always, um, just going to do the toy haul, then I'll turn off the camera, but just so you can see, I'm okay. I have a fan because today is June 2nd. Um, <laughs> uh, today is June 2nd, and um, it's starting to get hot. So the next time I do a live stream, the AC might be blasting. I just want to test how the how it sounds. I have a fan here blowing on my butt, keeping it cool. But um, how are you? <laughs> Hello there. Um, so, what? I'm having a brain fart. Uh, happy Pride Month. Um, and we're going to celebrate Juneteenth. A new holiday, thanks to the president. Um, also, I'm probably going to be going... Uh, no, not probably. I'm I'm going to go on vacation next week. So either you're going to get more content or less content. <laughs> because, you know, I got to enjoy time with the wifey. And time for myself. I'm going to see if I take the, the week to, like, fix up and organize storage. And... Um, man relax and enjoy myself and get stuff organized <sighs> i really have to start selling stuff i want to start i want to see if i start working on setting up my business so that way um when i do get five days of work i can have the the toy store on the side uh, the storage is full of inventory all i need is a a I want to do a legit business, but if not, it'll just go up on Amazon or on eBay. But I haven't dealt with those two guys in a long time. Anyway, uh, let's move on. This is probably going to be a long one. Let's go with the toy haul. As always, I just finished eating, so I'm full of gas. <laughs> the only toy haul that I have, because I'm making the effort to, to cut back, Legacy is helping because it sucks. But something I'm going to talk about later is, is making it a little bad. So the only toy that I picked up last week was this. This is a Hot Wheels car. Uh, it is the Cyber Speeder. They got it at Target. It was $9.95 cents with tax. It came out to $1.03. So I can see why people collect these. This is a pretty cool car. I have it right here. It's the Cyber Speeder. It has, I... <laughs> I think one of the things that made Transformers uh, good was that the vehicle modes were elegant and and cool. You can't say that about the GoBots. The Transformers had the Lancia Stratos, the Lamborghini. Um, they had the Porsche, the um, the Datsuns. So. What did GoBots had? They had Leader One, Scooter, Turbo. What vehicles were those? Not any that I know. Uh, this little car does have a special feature where um, the front fender does bend up, I guess, for more aerodynamicness. <laughs> but it's cool. I like hot. I like Hot Wheels.
I like Hot Wheels, but there's not a lot of designs that call out to me. I usually pick up the ones that are based on on licensed vehicles. I saw that someone on Twitter put that they got the um, the Super Mode kit from Knight Rider. And I'm like, wow. I picked up the Enterprise. I picked up a Green Lantern's car from the movie. I have Ecto-1. I have the DeLorean time machine. Um, the A-Team van. Um, James Bond's uh, Lotus Esprit Spirit. The one that turns into sub. I have all those cars, but I usually buy them because they're attached to a license. I have they made a little Star Trek Enterprise from the JJ uh, Abrams movie. So I wish they'd make more ships. They did do the Vengeance, but I'd like to see the Excelsior or the Reliant. But no, nah, it's just JJ Abrams. I guess that's what their license allows. But as per our agreement with the toy hall now that it's over. Going to turn off the camera. So, toy hall over, camera off, and the coat and the news commence. <laughs> so, we got a little bit of news this week, not a lot. Uh, first thing I want to bring up let me see my first tab is um but i should have prepared for that but let's get to it if you were watching me last week and you saw how i was talking about streaming websites and media pluto tv is one of the websites that is on uh, justwatch.com a lot of people don't know what pluto tv is and it really upsets me <laughs> i'm like you dummies some people are like it's a new streaming service and no, it's been around forever i've seen ads of it in the subway uh the first time i noticed it was they were advertising the movie coneheads so basically if i don't know if this will slow down my internet or what but let me see if I go to Pluto TV and uh, show you guys what it looks like. It's not like Netflix. It looks like you can also show up. But Pluto TV is not like Netflix. It is a streaming service. Might get interrupted. But basically, you know what? Let me turn that off. It's so smart of me. Basically, it's like a cable. I'm going to see if there's any pictures of what the interface looks like. All right, I guess this will work. No, this won't work. Uh, this will work. So basically, this is what Pluto TV looks like. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to open this. Open says me. All right, so this is what Pluto TV looks like. Let me make sure it's registering here. This picture that I have open here, basically Pluto TV has a whole bunch of channels that are different and you could click in and watch. So what uh, Hasbro and Pluto TV, which is owned by Paramount, what they're gonna do, they're gonna have a Transformers channel. So you just like click in and if you want to, if there's a show that's on, it's live TV. They do have in demand. Like if just watch tells you that there's a movie on Pluto, it'll take you to the in demand pa page. But like if you want to see just regular TV, you go into the website or the app, 
click on the channel and the show starts playing not from the beginning it plays from wherever you've clicked into it like if it was tv that's why it's Pluto tv so i think they have a star trek channel um and now they're going to have a transformers channel so that's what it is and pluto tv is free if you live in a state that doesn't or a place that doesn't have Pluto TV or that doesn't allow Pluto TV. You could use a VPN. Like I said, um, Opera Browser has a free VPN. You just have to set it in the settings to, to the country that you want. So if you're living like, let's say, in the Dominican Republic, you could set it to the United States and you should be good. So that's the first thing. That's Pluto TV. Uh, Transformers channel. It's not awesome news. Like I, I have a, a, most of my Transformers on media, but if if you don't and um, you just want to put something in the background while you customize your action figure or build a, your Lego Prime, uh, you can do that. Uh, next up on the news. We got um, possible first look at the guy who holds the power of the sun. <laughs> the thumbnail for my live stream is um, is uh, Shockwave quoting Doc Ock from Star from Spider Man to the power of the sun in the palm of my hand. Um, why? Um, T fan page 101 put up a picture of a shockwave and an orange. And it does look like he's holding a, a slice of lemon for your tequila or for your drink. <laughs> but I do like it. Uh, a lot of people are like, Ray, I don't like it. Why are we getting two shockwaves? We already got the Studio Series 1. And I'm like, shut up. Shut up. I don't like this. I don't like the Bumblebee movie designs. Um, I like them more than the Bayformers, but I don't like them as much as um, as the Generations designs. So this is basically a Generations uh, shockwave in small scale. He turns into a ship, which is cool. Um, I'm guessing if you flip him over, he'll turn into a gun. And uh, he's coming soon because this this is already an in-package product. It hasn't been announced yet, but soon, very soon. I'll be here, Master Megatron. Your shmobby shockwave. So we're getting shockwave. I mean, I'm not too... My budget... And and legacy is like eh, not that crazy, but I I like it. Uh, it's it's better than seeing something that I I'm not interested in. If you may have noticed, I usually don't report on stuff that doesn't interest me. You're not gonna see me talking about masterpiece just jet fire because I don't collect masterpiece. You're not gonna see me talking about the plush wheel jack from Symbiote Studios because I don't collect plush. I I only talk about what's interest to me. I'm not a news channel. I'm just me, Aries Double Eighty Three. You want your news? Go to the news source. But don't expect me to be like, oh, look at all this news. So the next thing. <laughs> In the news that I have is we were treated to this. Yeah, just one picture. This is a picture of the Walmart exclusive. Um, I think the text is messed up, but this is the Walmart exclusive override figure from Legacy. It says. Velocitron Speedia 500 collection. It should be like Speedia 500 Velocitron collection. But it's the Velocitron Speedia 500 collection. Uh, I, I like the package. It's a Walmart exclusive. So uh, don't expect it to show up at your house all nice. And 
it's missing the window and there's no window but i do like that they have the art of the robot here like in the olden days and it has a flap i do have the um the quotes reissue hardhead and the reissue mind wipe i haven't opened them because i have enough of the titans returns guys i haven't opened them i left them in boxes but i i do like the G1 aesthetic where they would use a box and your toy would be packed in vehicle mode. That changed with time and with bubbles instead of boxes. But now that we're going back to boxes, hey, why not? The only thing I don't like is the, the colors. It's blue. I would prefer orange or, or purple. Let me check back on my stream. So, yeah, this is, I like this. This is nice. It's a nice touch. Uh, next up for the news is, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the fastest, fastest construction vehicle alive. <laughs> it's road hauler, everybody. <laughs> I'm I'm laughing because um, a lot of people have been joking about a truck in a race, but from what I've seen in the new IDW comics, they the road hauler is in a race. Um, he's basically on the track racing against other uh, vehicle transformers. But this is, I guess this is a kick in the gut. They gave him an open mouth. And <laughs> he's yelling because he has to haul ass. Road hauler. I like this mode. I like the grapple inferno mode. I don't like the yelly head. But I would, if they do decide to keep doing yelly heads, I would, I would be pleasantly surprised if they added an alternate head, because that's an expression that you can't keep forever. <laughs> you can't run around with your mouth open. You get flies in your mouth. You'll get dust and dirt. So <laughs> that pictures you look like a crazy person. So you, it's not cool. I I do not like open mouths on my robots, but I do like um the mode, the color green, not so much. But he is also coming in a cool box and with some cool art here and here. The truck is like I'm on my way, and here he's like yeah. The next part of the news. Um, all right. He's here. Uh, Legacy Commander Class Motormaster out in Australia. And I'm sure a lot of nerds on the internet are losing their minds. They're like, I can't find him in Target. He's out in Australia. Australia is closer to Vietnam than New York is. <sighs> it pisses me off. This thing is probably going to show up here in the United States or show up in New York. It's June 2nd. It will probably show up middle of July, end of July, because it's on a boat. Boats usually take about a month. You know, if you're ordering something from China, it's about a month. So, uh, anyone that says, like, oh, my God, it's available. It's out. Where is it? I can't find it. I can't find it. I'm like, shut up. Give it some time, you dumb dummy. <laughs> Give it some time. I'm sure Drag Strip will show up also everywhere. 
He's uh, he's available on Hasbro Post the last time I checked. But do you hear people talking about that? No. It's like, oh, my God, I got to get drag strip because I need him for the combiner. And, he's... and I'm like, just wait, you stupid, stupid. But he is available in Australia. In Australia. I know that um, they pay a little more for their stuff down under than than we do. So they'll be like, yay, it's here. Oh, my wallet. There's already like two reviews on, on YouTube. But, yeah, um, he's cool. I can't wait. But I can wait. <laughs> I'm not going to be desperate. But when I see him, I want to buy him. It's pretty cool. I don't like the size, though. I wish he was bigger than Commander Class Jetfire. I wish he was as big as Predaking, Power to Prime's Predaking. But he's not. And the last little bit of news that I have here for you is that, again, Dinobot Sludge is found at U.S. retail. He was found in, uh, doesn't say, just U.S. retail. So that means if I go to this Target store that's near me in Brooklyn, he'll be there, maybe. But most most likely not. Uh, these things, when they ship, for, they ship from Vietnam. They land in California, and then they make their way cross country west to east. So yeah, if if you're in New York and you're running around crying like, oh my God, it's out, it's out, I want it, I want it. I'm like, shut up and wait. It'll show up. Just give it some time. But just because it's available in one place doesn't mean it's available everywhere. <laughs> I hope I'm not being too harsh when I say shut up. Shut. Shut up. Butt out. And uh, that's it for the news. So, so sad. Next up, um, I guess it is news. Man, I need to make a tab for this. Let me just make a banner. <laughs> I gotta make this for for the week. I mean, for all my for all my live streams. Here we go. So after the news, we get wheelies, dealies, wheelies, dealies. Deal find, look behind. Wheelie say we find deals today. Okay, Wheelie. All right. So if you may have been on the internet, you know that Hasbro is having what they're calling a power sale. What was it? Power purchase? Let me open this. It'll say it. Power days. Power for days. Yeah, you know, um, we use nuclear power in the United States, so it's power for days. So you got your power day sale um, now at Hasbro Post. Uh, the details of this event are here. So your promotional terms, you save 40% when you spend $75 or more on select eligible and currently for sale on Hasbro Post um, dot com during the Hasbro Post Power Days sale events that's uh, on items. The promotion is valid on purchases made between June 2nd, which is today at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard through June 6th at 11.59 a.m. Eastern Standard. So from June 2nd to Z June 6th, Hasbro Post is going to have their Power Days sale. So uh, what does this mean? It means uh, if 
your if the item that you're looking at has this power day sales on it you can get power day sale on it <laughs> i know um i'm i only out of all the available things i only have three tabs because i do have a whole bunch of things i made like a bookmark on my google chrome for it um but i gotta see what i can and cannot buy but so far i'm like you know how they say you're eating with your eyes? I'm I'm looking at all these sales and I'm like, I want that, I want that, and that, and that, and that. But until the time comes when I add to cart, I won't know how much it is. So, uh, as you saw, the, pr the price, the regular price on Black Zarek, Generations Black Zarek, is $178.99. But now, since he's 40% off, that's almost 50% off, guys. That's a lot. It's not 10%. It's not 25 like Target will be like 25 and it's like $2. This is 40% off. So you're almost saving like 70 bucks. 178.99 down to 107. Oh, 40. The only things that I would recommend, which are more than $75 in the store. These are single items that are more than $75. So you got Black Zarek uh, with his discount. He comes down to $107.40. That's before taxes and shipping. You got Hot Rod. Uh, he comes down to $54 also before tax and shipping. And finally, the last big ticket item uh, that Hasbro Post has on sale, uh, it come, the ARC, uh, he comes down to $101.99. So if you don't own these, you probably do. But if you want to get them cheap and uh, I guess to customize or have for display, I would recommend... Um, buying them now before they sell out i'm sure those titans are going to sell out the little figures there are some figures smaller figures like the dk guard uh, and um and um toy colors galvatron beep, boop, 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 boop. those guys they're they're not 75 dollars so wait on them those you're gonna have to throw them into a cart with other toys in order to get to the 75 dollar limit and be able to use the the power days deal in on hasro post but that's it for the wheelies dealies gonna turn off the banner um it's 9 33 uh, i've been on the <laughs> I had to take a, a break to do something, <laughs> but it's 9:33. Uh, the topic that I wanted to do uh, for it for this for today uh, was gonna be um, my personal history uh, with Transformers from 1984 to 1988, but since the show got kind of derailed. Um, because of that, I guess I can always go to Tear Maker and pick. Uh, oof, a short list. <laughs> uh, all right, let me. This is a weird one. Someone on Tear Maker made a list of uh, reviewers to put in tears. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I'll, the options are limited. That guy's, oh, I'm not going to do that. Might get too much heat. Um, do, 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 boop. All right. Uh, a few weeks ago, uh, toy reviewer H and E Games. Um, he he got a group of other reviewers, the cool guys. I'm not one of the cool guys, but <laughs> he 
he got the cool guys together and uh they create uh he created a tier maker for uh Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom and I believe it's here let me see if I open it let me change the let me add the banner a tier maker yeah, spelled tier wrong maker Transformers Kingdom. The best of the best. And here we go. Add banner. There we go. So, um, the personal history I'll leave for next week when I have more time. I was going to start this this live stream early, but I got caught up in bringing up the assets that I was going to use for. I, I could probably just save them in a bookmark for next week. Anyways, let's go to Tier Maker. But that um, Tier Maker for the best transformers reviewer that was kind of weird uh, i think i'd get in trouble <laughs> anyway here we have um here's an ad but here we have s tier a tier b tier c tier d tier and f tier and these are all the uh transformers war for cybertron kingdom toys uh with exclusives so let me just put my little picture to the bottom. Um, there's an ad playing down here that is distracting. I don't know how to close it, but I'll scroll away from it later. Anyways, Kingdom had a lot of meat beast in it. So <laughs> I'm going to get those meat beasts out of the way. The Whatever I didn't buy is going in the F tier right away just f because i don't care <laughs> and i gotta do this quick so jackpot amazon exclusive f um pterosaur no no that's uh mutant tigertron f road rage and puffer f pterosaur f and i don't oh, i don't own these guys and I don't plan on owing, owning them. Let's get rid of some more exclusives. Earth, um, Earth Mode Mirage, F. Uh, I'm sure, well, Earth Mode Mirage. Uh, Tricanicus, F. Grimlock from Grim, um, uh, Grimlock's repaint, uh, Dinobot repaint as Grimlock, F. I don't own it. I don't want it. I'm also going to throw fossilizers in F because I don't like them. So this is, I think, I want to say, is that Ractonite? No, uh, Paleotrex. This is Ractonite. Ractonite, F. Wing finger F. This is pretty going pretty fast. Um, is this sky warp? Sky warp F. I hope that's not Arizor. Is it? What? Another fossilizer, F. I do own Dracodon, but I don't like Dracodon. So she is F tier. All the way down there. Uh, 
got to look at these guys. Um, what's its name? Um, Transmutate F. Um, radioactive Dracodon F. <laughs> I know there's someone out there yelling at me, but hey, it's my list. Uh, exclusive Sideswipe F because I don't own it, not because I don't like the mode. And Art Fire. Hmm. Well, let's leave them down here. So I'm going to put in the, the figures that I don't own, but that I want to own, but I'm waiting for sales. Uh, hopefully, maybe with this Hasbro Power Day sale, I'll be able to get some of them. But I don't own Art Fire, but I like the mode. So he's a D. Um, Night Prowler. Uh, D, I don't own it, but I want it if I could get it cheap. Wait, no, 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 it's a mutant head, so it goes in F. Uh, I don't own uh, Tigatron yet, but I do, so I want it, so he's in D. Uh, uh, the, the, where's Waspinator? Waspinator, I don't own, but I want, so D. These pictures are real small. And... Alright, I think that's it for the stuff that I don't like and I don't own. So let's go with what I got. So first off, we got Wheeljack. This is a repaint retool. Uh, no, it's a, a re-release. These three are re-releases. I guess that's why they left them in package. So these re-releases, I'm going to put them in C. I do like uh, the Earth Rise mode of Wheeljack. I do like the Earth Rise Optimus. And um, I like Earthrise RC, but I hate the transformation. The robot mode, great. Car mode, great. Transformation sucks. We got Red Alert here. He's an exclusive, which I got. So all exclusives that I own go in S because yes. Uh, when I do decide to sell them, they're that's more money because they're exclusives. I own Road Rage, so she's a S. Whoop. Um, what other exclusive? I own T Rex. I got T Rex because I like the metallic blue on the back and and the head with the lips, shiny and chrome. I, I like Road Rage. I wish I could find more, but by Coinkydink, I found her on the shelves in Target. So I was like, ooh, never again. And even though she's in stock on Target.com, you need a red card to buy her. Well, I don't think she's in stock now, but she did go on sale. And um, it's too much hassle for a figure. I'm, I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. Now, let me see. Um, you got Generation Selects Galvatron. I'm going to put him up here, A. I like his colors. Um, the transformation is a little complicated with Galvatron. It, like, it makes me confused. <laughs> but I do like his colors. He's not S because he's not going to be worth a lot. He's still warming digital shelves, but I do like his colors. I like that you get an option for stickers, and I do like the robot mode, and uh, alt mode is decent. So Galvatron is a A. Since we got um, 
generation selects Galvatron. Let's put regular Galvatron over there on A. Uh, Commander Class Rodimus is also a A. He's not S because he's not going to be worth a lot of money. His trailer has problems connecting, and I don't feel like there's a, a you don't get the value with the trailer that you got with like uh, Skylinks or Jetfire. But Motormaster, I do see value in the trailer because it's chunk and full. But he's good, not great, so he's S. Um, I, w I said, I mentioned before that I don't think he's going to go up in price, but usually bigger toys, um, as time goes by, they do get more expensive. Like Commander Class Jetfire isn't cheap now that he's like off the market. Next up, Core Class Optimus. Uh, Court class is pretty good. Uh, I'm going to put him here on C. I, I own multiple copies of him, like three of them. I want to get the oversized one from Sir Toys. But he's, he's decent. The first copy that I got had some QC issues where the tabs that his arms plug into his legs, into his thighs, one was flipped so that the peg was pointing down towards the ground instead of up towards the cab. But he's okay. I like him. Uh, we got Black Arachnia. Uh, Black Arachnia uh, is going to go here on D with the Meat Beast. Probably most of the Meat Beast are going to go here. I don't like the, the... I bought her. I own one copy of her. I tried not to break the tab that connects her chest to, like, another part of her. I only transformed her from robot to uh, to spider to put her in a Ziploc bag and put her away. So she's D. Uh, unless I can get her cheap, like, for, like, 10 bucks, and I could risk breaking her, I'll get another one. But for, for now... Uh, just one and done. In the D you go. <laughs> In the dumpster. Next is Warpath. Warpath is... Um, he's D. <sighs> he, all I can say about Warpath is that I, I like G1, but I don't like Warpath. I, there's a, I have a lot of problems with him. Most of it is his design and his colors, but he could use some some paint. Like if I customized him, I would paint the white tread silver and like the silver wheels in the tread silver. I mean the white wheels in the tread. But he's he, he's kind of plain. He's not exciting like. I don't think as a tank his turret moves. I don't think it turns. I'm not, I'm not sure, but he's like it's incredible that for a character from G1, I was like, yeah, I'll just get one of them, and I've never thought of him since. <laughs> Here we got Optimus Primal. I'll put him in the A tier. I don't like Beast Wars. Um, Meat Beast aren't my favorite, but Optimus Prime was pretty good uh, as a Prime, as a robot. He's cool. Uh, the Gorilla, eh, the head scope looks pretty good as a as a Gorilla, um, but I don't know. It's He's kind of, as a gorilla, he's kind of plain. I do like him as a robot. He has these shoulder, uh, he has these wrist-mounted guns. He has his swords. He has the shoulder guns. So he's armed to the teeth. Uh, last year when the Target gave me my Christmas 5% off, I bought another, um, another Optimus Primal. So I like him. Don't like the alt mode so much, but he's he's okay. He's cool. 
Uh, you got Kingdom Hot Rod. I got this in the Legacy line. Uh, he's gonna go down here. Uh, as a, he's cool as a small little vehicle that you could put next to your Arc uh, for scale, but as as a car, he's more he looks better than he does as a robot. It's it's kind of weird. Um, his design as a robot is like eh, meh. and then he comes with a sword and not a gun. So that that's another thing in in his um that's not in his favor. Here we got pipes. Pipes I don't own yet. But I'm going to put him in the in the D tier of figures that I want to buy but I don't own. Uh same goes for Slammer. I want pipes more than I want Slammer, but they're they're on my list of figures to get. Uh, we got Blaster here. Blaster is um, he's a he's okay. Uh, I got two: one to customize, one to keep. I um, also one in case the um, translucent. The beautifully translucent Ejac decides to die on me. But he, I like him. I transformed him like once or twice. He's he's okay. It's good that he's showing up in Legacy. And I believe everyone's buying him and leaving Bulkhead behind. So if you go to your store and you see a whole bunch of Bulkheads, it's because Blaster is gone. Then you got Core Class Megatron. I like this core class Megatron, but I'm going to put him in B because I don't got anyone there. Uh, I don't like the hollowness of the back of the tank. I do like that he comes with a little gun, but it doesn't make up for for the turret. But his paint ops, those things are beautiful. That His paint ops are beautiful. Uh, I can only compare them to the... Um, Netflix Siege Megatron, the first exclusive Netflix one. That thing, they should paint all Megatrons like that. And they painted him like this. So he he looks great for a $10 toy. They probably saved on what they lost on the gun they used on paint. Next up, Rat Trap. Rat Trap is gonna go down and see. I I only own own one copy. Um, he's he's forgettable. I transformed him like once. He has human feet also, so a lot of people don't like that. He's ten bucks, but he's so tiny. And um. I I like I'm gonna be one of those old fuddy duddies that says I'd like the old version better. I had a three link thirty was awesome. Yeah, but if if I wasn't old enough to buy toys when Drilling Thirty was around, this is the only option I have. I do like the Drilling Thirty more than than this one, but this one's not that bad if you need a rat trap. But uh, he's just like. One and done, not that memorable. So he's down here. But he's not as bad as um, Black Arachnia or Warpath. <laughs> like, um, I've been eyeing the Walmart box set that comes with Primo and him, just waiting for it to go down so I could pick it up. Next, we have Core Class. Sound wave, sound wave. A lot of people would put him in S. I'm gonna put him in A. I think he's okay. He looks great as a robot. Looks great as a cassette, um, as a cassette player, as a Walkman. But I find myself when I use him as a desk toy, like I keep him on the desk to fiddle with, I get bored with him right away because there's not a lot to do. And he is kind of loose at the hips right now from from all the transforming. But he, he looks good. 
transforms well, but he's kind of like uh, not not fun. Maybe he's too simple. Maybe it's because the cassette doesn't transform into anything. It's just a little slab of plastic. But he's A. He's my Core Class Starscream. I'm going to put him down here on D. Uh, well, I do have a, a newfound affection for Starscream. Um, I have a newfound affection for Starscream. I don't like the the wide chest that he has. Uh, it's weird how he transforms. You open up his chest like a door. <laughs> then you put his arms in there. But it, it doesn't hit the same way as the Earthrise uh, Starscream's transformation does. So I'm like, eh. A lot of people are like, I need Sky Warp. And I'm like, I don't I don't care because he has that wide chest also. It, I don't know. It's, it may, it's like I only own one copy and I'm not really interested in getting multiples. And I don't I'm not crazy about Sky Warp or Thundercracker if they make like a dirge or ramjet in this class, which they probably won't. We got Erasor. Erasor is going to be C. She's a meat beast. So I'm not too crazy about meat beast, but I did get her cheap from Walgreens. I used my Walgreens points to to get her at a discount. Um, she's okay. Uh, as a female character, it's good. I think it's good that we get more female characters the Transformers line. Um, as a bird, she she looks good too. But since she's a meat beast, she doesn't look that unique to me. Like something like a like a wolf wire would look like, or or a headstrong from Power to Primes. So she's just me. She's C. Same goes for Cheetor. Put him down here. I own uh, a couple of copies of Cheetor. There is a problem with a tab breaking, I think, on the back of his neck in the, the Cheetah mode. So that's not great. Um, but I do like the transformation is simple. I like the colors. I don't like Cheetor's face design. Um, and the weapon is kind of dumb. He doesn't come with his gut gun, but a gut gun isn't a cool gun, in my opinion. <laughs> so he's here, C, Esme. Now we got Kingdom Huffer. I'm going to put him up here in A. I like Huffer. He he loves dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the only problem I have with Huffer is uh, his wafer gun. You're supposed to split his gun in two so it could become like the, the guardrails of the of the, the flatbed. And then it looks like he has a pouch because the middle of the truck, it slants in on itself. So it looks like it's going to scrape the floor. His transformation is pretty cool. Uh, the other day I transformed the one that I got from TF Basement on clearance. I almost broke the, the, the wheels though because I couldn't remember how it is that it transformed. And then when I finally figured out figured it out, I was like, wow, this is this is kind of cool. I a lot of people don't like the hollowness of the legs, but I don't mind. I, I don't look at my toys a lot from behind. They're usually displayed facing me. So Huffer, he's pretty cool. He's an A. Scorponok down here. I'm going to put him with uh, the uh, Meat Beast. He's. I just picked him up just to have him. I have no intentions of buying any more of him. I transformed him into a scorpion to put him away, and that was it. So he's meh, uh, and he's a Meat Beast. 
so he goes down here. I like Erezor and Rat Trap and Cheetor. As you can see, these are good guys more than I like this guy. But if you like them, and the upcoming repaints doesn't help <laughs> for this toy. A lot of people hate this toy. Got tracks. Tracks, I'm going to put down here in D because I, I really wanted to like tracks, but he has two problems. His chest is wafer thin. There's a big old gap. Um, if you look in my review of tracks, there's a gap where wind can go from left to right, right, not behind his back or in front of his chest, but right through him. And um, when you turn him into a Corvette, into a cool Corvette, turning him back is really tough. And uh, the fact that uh, there's a large part of the top of the car that's made out of clear plastic, you can break it. So yeah, uh, he's not good for 20 bucks, but if I could get him for like 10, if I could get an extra, I would. Like if I went into my Target and he was clearance down to like $8, I would pick him up and I'd use him as my fiddle bot, ready to break. I do have a, I think the extra disappointment is that I bought uh, like five Traxxas from Best Buy. Because I thought he was going to like be a hot ticket. And boy was I wrong. So I do have an extra one. Maybe I could bring it out and break it. <laughs> but I like Road Rage. Road Rage is, looks better than tracks. I can forgive the hollowness of the chest because it's a girl. And she has a better face sculpt. He has this weird ooh, mouth that I don't like. You got Megatron, Meat Beast Megatron. I'm going to put him here in B with the uh, core Megatron. I like the dino mode. I like the things that they did with the soft plastic, which is probably going to biodegrade in a few years, but I don't care. Toys were meant to die. Um, his robot mode is okay. I'm not a big fan of the character, and uh, he could use some paint, but... I do like the dino mode, the the dino mode, more than I do the robot mode. So this meat beast is pretty cool in my in my opinion because it's soft plastic. You got Kingdom Ultra Magnus. <laughs> no, I'm gonna put him over here. I'm gonna put him A tier, not S tier. I love Ultra Magnus. The robot mode is perfect. Um, City Commander. The alt mode has a lot to be desired. The cab and the trailer. <sighs> it has trouble tabbing together, like the back tabbing to the front. And it's like all sorts of loosey-goosey. It's it's horrible. But the, the inner robot is okay. It's decent. It's kind of chonky. But I I do love the the robot mode with the armor. The city commander, he's great from the head. Eh, his legs, not so much, but the head down to his toes, he's okay. Uh, next up, I got the arc. I'm gonna put the arc A tier, it's not exactly S tier. I don't like the head. It looks like Bert. <laughs> uh, it does come with mainframe, uh, which is okay. Mainframe is kind of cool. He turns into a Teletran unit, Teletran 1 or 83. Um, th so the robot mode, the only thing I don't like is the head. I do like the arc, the vehicle mode. It's pretty good. It would be ev even gooder. If it had um, space to store like um, core class vehicles, I guess if you take out the the mainframe unit, you can throw a, a core class Optimus in there with core class Bumblebee, or I mean with core class Hot Rod. But I'm currently in the process of customizing one of these. 
I do like the arc, and uh, it's one of the only um, Titan classes that n has gone on discount, not showing up at a closeout store. So this is pre pretty easy to get. If you're looking for an arc, I would suggest you wait and keep an eye on your favorite retailer because they're eventually they're going to have to clearance this out. But I like it. I like the orangeness. I like everything about the arc. But it's not S tier. It's not like, ooh, it's A. It's good. I'll buy another. Next, we got Kingdom Cyclonus. Kingdom Cyclonus is... Uh, I'm going to put him here. I was going to put him in B. The only problems I have with Kingdom Cyclonus, more people will tell you, I have a problem with the yellowing. And I'm like, I don't care about the yellowing. As an artist, one of the most important things I believe is the for you to get right is the portrait, is the face. You got to know how to draw a good face <laughs> so you don't get no surprise. So the face on the Cyclonus is horrible. I, I hate it. He has like drooping cheeks. I think Perspective End gave him a, a name. <laughs> like Sour Boy or something. But I hate the heads, the face. I hate the face sculpt. Besides that, everything else is perfect. Um, well, the gun is a little too chonky for my taste. But he's great. Ye a yellowing and all. The face could use some work, but we're never going to get a, a new head sculpt. <sighs> Don't think about it. Next up, I got Dinobot. Dinobot, I'm going to put him here in B. I'm not a big fan of the character. A lot of people like to say, oh, Dinobot's awesome. Have you seen Code of Hero? He's so great. Yay. And I'm like, I like Scott McNeil. But, yeah, he sacrificed his life. That's, yeah, so what? <laughs> that, that'd be like saying, oh, my God, look at Prow. He's so awesome. He's dying in the ship later. So, retroactively that makes all of Prow's episodes awesome no but eh, i don't know um he's he's okay i only own one copy um he's a decent dino and he's a decent robot he does what he has to do you know with the spinning with the sword and the spinning helicopter thingy uh, he, he has a good face sculpt he has a perfect face scope. I think it was Perspective End's review of him that made me say, like, yeah, he, he looks pretty good. If I see him, I'll get him. I think I bought him from Best Buy also. Next, we have another Best Buy guy. This is Inferno. I'm going to put Inferno up here. Where? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put him down here. <laughs> I, I like the grapple mode. It's okay. I only own one copy of Inferno. Uh, it, they they say the issue with him was fixed. And I think they changed the pegs. The pegs on, uh, on, on uh, grapple were kind of like uh, round. And they were su supposed to shove into a hexagon. But uh, the pegs on uh, Inferno, I think they're hex they're a hexagon shape. They shove into a hexagon hole, so there's no problems. But it, he he's okay. I only own one copy, but if I could find him cheap, I would get another copy. I, I like the mode, and he's he's okay. He's good. <laughs> and finally, disappointed. Here's another meat beast. It's Rhinox. I only bought one copy of Rhinox. I'm putting him in C. You know what? Let me put him down to D. Um, I only own... I bought one copy of Rhinox from Best Buy along with uh, Inferno. Uh, but 
when Target was clearing things out their kingdom figures, I did get two extra Rhinoxes for like eight dollars and change. But it's not my favorite toy. Um, he's on my shelf, but I have to transform him into a beast and then put him in a zip log and put him away. I don't like his wafer thin chest, which is the same problem Trax has. Um, and but that's that's about the only problem I have with his chest. Uh, I haven't transformed him a lot, but a lot of people say his transformation is frustrating because there's like some meat panels. But the only problem I have with him is his thin chest, and that I don't l really like meat beast. And that I own the uh, Drilling 31. I own several copies of Drilling 31. Uh, they showed up for like eleven ninety nine at Amazing Savings. <laughs> Figure that. And that's it. This is all my Kingdom ranks. Again, uh, these are figures that are exclusives that I own. That's why they're S. Because when the time comes to sell them, I could get Buku Bucks. A is the figures that I like that might have one or two flaws. B is uh, figures that I might like one alt mode, one one mode of them or one part of them, but not the other. C, repaints and core class and some meat beast. D, figures that I don't like, I mean that I don't own, and meat beast. <laughs> and that, that I don't like because I own tracks and, um, and hot rod, but... I don't, I'm not really that crazy about them. And F are uh, figures that I don't buy, that I don't own, because I hate you. No! Uh, so these are exclusives and fossilizers and a meat beast. Well, he has the mutant head. I like this, um, I do like this Lambo. Because uh, it was repainted as Red Alert. But I can't see myself buying this Grimlock to get this guy. Or, or I, I don't own this mode of Mirage. Maybe it'll come out in a different series. Like they turned him into Leadfoot. But maybe we'll get like a translucent or toy colors Mirage from this toy. And I'll be able to buy him without having to to have to buy a, a sky warp <sighs> so that's it let me close that i'm gonna stop the screen so uh if you've been with me all the while i don't think anyone's been watching this it i had to interrupt the live stream in the middle then I spent like 20 minutes before I came back. But this is a safe part to watch. <laughs> I have to edit the other part. I'll basically download both of them and then edit them together. But um, here you go. Something to watch on this Thursday night. It's 10.13 right now. I've been streaming for 43 minutes. Uh, nobody showed up. I know Chipper was sad that he missed my first stream. But let me turn this off. That's it. Um, it is Pride Month, um, and uh, we celebrate Juneteenth this month. So just be be good to each other. You know, Arezo Kane says, um, what is it? There's no excuse to be an asshole. <laughs> so don't don't be a jerk. We all live on this planet. We all live together as a community. We have to work and live together. So just um, be good to each other. And uh, what one person does, you know, if you might not understand it or anything, but it's it's their life. Let them be. Uh, let them live. Or, that's all I'm saying. They just want peace. <laughs> peace on earth. 
for everybody. I'm Aries double eighty three, and let me find this uh, end clip. All right. Well, bye. Follow me on the web at twitter.com. I'm Aries double eighty three. At Instagram.com, I'm Aries double eighty three. At Facebook.com. My personal profile is john.classified.5. My page is aries0083.fans. And finally, at my blog on blogger. <laughs>